Okay, so the trade deadline is over, guys, and there was one final Habs trade that happened with the Habs acquiring Eric Gustafsson from the Philadelphia Flyers. Now, when I originally read this, for some reason, my eyes read Eric and Branson. Did this happen to anybody else? <sighs> I don't know how that happened. It was some kind of visual trickery and it wasn't funny at all. Anyway, Eric Gustafson is the name and offensive defenseman is his game. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the man's stats plus his advanced stats and all the trade details of how this went down. But first, if you guys are a fan of these kind of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you guys tagged along for the ride. Now, first things first, let's get all the details of this trade out of the way. So what do we got here, guys? According to Pierre Lebrun, the Habs sent a seventh round draft pick in 2022 to the Philadelphia Flyers in exchange exchange for Eric Gustafson with 50% of his salary retained. Nice. Decent. Well, first things first, that isn't a whole lot to part ways with here. I mean, the Habs have had some difficulty pulling noteworthy guys with their first round draft picks for a specific period of time. So I'm not really too shook up over a seventh round draft pick that is for shizzle. And I think this was a sneaky good deal for Mark Bergevin. And here's why. Taking a look at some of this guy's statistics, and there is something in here that I find absolutely fascinating. But first, the knock on this guy's game is his defensive play. Apparently, the man plays like shit in his own end, or at least that's what I've been told from Flyers fans. Maybe these guys are wrong and have been smoking too much crack with Gritty. Who knows? But that's what's been giving this guy a bad rap this year. Now, his offensive game, on the other hand, has been insanely good. Let me introduce you to this guy's statistics. This guy had a 60-point season like two years ago, guys. 60 freaking points! Do you know how impressive that is? That is more points than Jeff Petrie or Shea Weber has ever had in the NHL. And this was as recent as two years ago. So yeah. There is a very silver lining in this trade. I'm actually a fan of this one, guys. I really am. Now, so far this season, he's got a goal and nine assists for 10 points in 24 games. Not too shabby, but nothing special either, right? And he hasn't been used a whole lot this year. Sounds like he's been in the doghouse. Now, let's take a look at what our boy Jay Fresh Hockey said on Twitter about this guy. And he calls him a power play specialist and goes on to say he's got a great shot and produces efficiently. And I know it's early, guys. But I did look up some of this guy's highlights on the world of YouTube here and let me tell you He's made some pretty nice plays and I'm pretty optimistic about this one If this guy can become the beast that he was in Chicago a couple of seasons ago This may turn out to be the most beautiful present from a seventh round pick that we've seen in a long time this could be a guy that can be huge on the power play for the Habs right now Meow. Alexander Burroughs is probably biting his nails waiting for this guy to show up off the plane. Can you imagine if we have him and Caulfield on the power play hitting towards the end of the season? <laughs> a man can dream, guys. A man can dream. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. How do you feel about this trade? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I want to know how you guys are feeling right now. Do you think this guy can solve some of our power play issues? Because that's what I'm beginning to think. Dig it!